When we see a type of work that is new, we ask ourselves this question, what does it ask of the underlying hardware machine? And if we were to, to optimize a machine for this work, could we make it fly? We're doing long-term infrastructure. We're building a new type of computer optimized for artificial intelligence work. The CS1 is an incredible machine in that it contains the largest silicon chip in the industry to date, and it enables us to run our deep learning codes at much higher rates than what would be normally possible. We need extremely fast platforms for exploring new ways of solving problems, and the CS1 is a perfect platform for giving us that performance boost to accelerate our research in deep learning as applied to science and medicine. The performance of the CS1 is a couple orders of magnitude to faster than an individual node in a classical GPU-based infrastructure. We'll be able to compute at a scale a thousand times greater than our current targets. It has 400,000 cores in, in a single chip, so it's, it's more equivalent to a cluster data center in a single chip. The most exciting day was probably the day that the chip came back. You've been waiting two and a half years, you put blood, sweat, and tears in, it comes back and it's this big, and usually chips are this big. And then people begin testing it and trying to, to break it, trying to figure out um, if all the ideas proved out, and one after another they did. We can program the CS1 using uh, common programming languages like Python and common deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow. Because Celebrus built a toolkit around the standard framework, you can just uh, use the existing code. The, to the rest of the data center, this looks like a bunch of Linux boxes, so it's not really anything uh, difficult to, to integrate. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's a great resource, because it, it doesn't require us to change uh, everything else, and we can make other systems talk to it uh, using standard interfaces. It's very general purpose. I mean, it's not tied to a specific class of models or a specific type of problems. We have over uh, two dozen projects uh, in the in pipeline, in some sense, that are uh, getting ready to use the CS1. Uh, if you go look back over the last 30 years or so, uh, there's a handful of inflection points in technology where somebody has a new idea, builds a product, that product kind of sets the standard for how the future evolves, and I think the Cerebus is in that uh, category. So it's accelerating our research, but it's also opening up the aperture of the things that we can try in the same amount of time. It opens up the computational experimental space that we can explore by orders of magnitude. Yeah, our collaborations with Cerebus have been extremely rewarding. You know, as an infrastructure guy, I, I don't invent what, what's going to drive on our roads. Uh, we need to make them wide and we need to make them easy to use and all sorts of smart people will start putting cool things on top of them.